Why on earth are we hanging out in my bathroom? Because my bathtub has become the plant ER. These guys have ugh, mealy bugs. This is not a new problem. These plants have been infected for quite some time and I've been treating them, but not aggressively. And now it's time. So what are mealy bugs? Mealybugs are a scale insect. They suck the plant juices out of all of your leaves, basically leading to atrophy, leaf drop, and then eventually plant death. It's really common for house plants. So if you got it, don't worry, we can help you. How do you get mealybugs? Well, they can come in in a lot of different ways. These guys are super tiny, so they're really hard to see. You could, they could come in on a new plant that you brought in from a nursery or from a plant sale. They could come in from outside. They could come in on some produce that you bring in. Think about them like an infectious disease, because basically they are. So how do we treat for that? Well, you have to come at it from all sides and you gotta be diligent and keep treating. One time isn't gonna hack it. Very simple treatments though. And this is all stuff you already have around the house. So let's get started. Okay, so what are we gonna need? We're gonna need isopropyl alcohol, cotton swabs, cotton balls, and a spray bottle with water and a little bit of dish soap. Or in this case, I'm using Dr. Bronner's because we use it for everything. So the first thing you have to keep in mind is these guys are tiny, they hide, they hide. <laughs> and they can hide anywhere. So when we're doing this cleaning up process, you're gonna wanna clean not just the stalk, the stem, the leaves, the underneath side of the leaves, all the nooks and crannies, but you're gonna wanna clean the pot the area where the plant was sitting, so if it's on a shelf or something like that, because they can hide in a lot of places and they can stay off of the plant for months, dormant, waiting. So just because you vacate a spot um, and leave it sitting there for a couple weeks doesn't mean that they won't come right back. So what we're gonna do is we're first going to use the alcohol to literally kill them on contact. That's what the alcohol does. And then the soapy water does the same thing, but it also leaves a tiny bit of a residue on the leaves. And so that kind of helps with prevention. You're gonna have to do this process multiple times over the next couple of weeks in order to make sure that you get rid of everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by cleaning off as much as I can with the alcohol. And then I'm gonna spray everything down with the, um, the soapy water. And then I'm actually going to pot these up to a different pot completely because I can see it all around these plastic nursery pots. I'm gonna put them in new pots with new soil on top. So you can basically smother them if you add about this much soil on top of the current surface so you don't have to completely take apart your plant. But And then I'm also going to clean the stand, the plant stand that they were all sitting on. So um, it's gonna take a lot of work and then I'm gonna to have to continue to monitor this every couple days, every time I see something, I have to treat it right away with more alcohol and more soapy water. So buckle up, here we go. This is a fiddle leaf fig, as you can see, and I don't know if it's even going to survive. Look how many leaves have fallen off of this because of these guys. So this is entirely my fault. I knew that there was a problem and I've just been busy doing other things and I didn't make this a priority. So I'm gonna treat it but there's no guarantee that it's going to work or that it will survive. So the worst infection is up here at the top. And you can probably see that. Pretty gross, disgusting. And because there's so much, I'm actually gonna start with a cotton ball full of alcohol. So, whoop, well, that leaf came completely off and that's what mealybugs look like. It's really gross. It looks like fuzzy, fibery stuff, but those insects are in there. So, yeah, this leaf looks like it can handle. And remember the, so there goes another leaf. Yeah, this, I might lose this entire plant. Um, one thing you should keep in mind, if, if you do, if the plant does die and you have to get rid of it, um, 
don't put these in your compost. Make sure that you get rid of them in a bag into the regular garbage to be hauled away. Because as I said, they are extremely contagious. And, oh, see, yeah, I think, uh, well, I'm gonna do my best. This one leaf, it's got, it's got two leaves. Nope, one leaf. <laughs> there is no guarantee this thing is gonna survive. And it's just everywhere. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the uh, Q-tip swab, get down in here. This is where they're hiding out. All the way up and down this stem. Yeah, so treating this, but no guarantee. I mean, yeah, see every time I pull away a layer. So I think this guy is probably a goner, guys. With only this leaf left, I seriously doubt that it's going to be able to um, photosynthesize enough to come back. But I'm gonna try. I have, uh, I have rescued plants from the brink before, <laughs> so we'll see. But it's really everywhere, so gross. Okay, next victim, I mean patient. Uh, we'll see how many leaves I lose on this. Again, the alcohol kills them on contact, which is great. And you might be wondering, sometimes you'd be like, well, if you don't see evidence of them right away, they could still be there. They just might be right at the soil surface. See how they hide down inside the stems? Um, that's the, the main problem, is they get down where you can't see them. Okay, so I'm gonna pull away all this dead or dying material. That's another great place for them to hide. And then start working on the leaves. Everywhere you see white and underneath especially because they love that area. This is why you have to do multiple treatments because it's actually hard to get in here and really get it clean. Okay, so I have um, use the alcohol on every surface of every leaf and down the stems and now I'm going to spray the soapy water. Now could you use neem oil? Sure you could. Uh, neem actually will stick around a little bit longer than um, than the soapy water will. You will have to do the same thing and keep applying but I find that neem is pretty stinky. <laughs> Next customer. So all these dead leaves, this is really a result of the sap sucking. So they are pulling all the vital nutrients away from the leaves and then that causes them to die. I had this really badly uh, infest, a real bad infestation on a ponytail palm a year or so ago and I moved it outside and the sunlight took care of it. Even though some documentation says don't move it outside because it'll get worse, um, I found that the sunlight actually fixed the problem. Um, I maybe it just baked them. <laughs> All right, it's time for the alcohol treatment on this guy too. This is their home. I know, sorry about the backlighting. Uh, this is where those plants were living in my bedroom. 
and those pots in my mind are completely contaminated right right, right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them outside here in the direct heat and sun with some other dead plants <laughs> and uh, then I'm going to clean off this um, stand with alcohol these guys don't fly but they do um, crawl and they can go pretty far So maybe it's all in my head, but I already feel like they look better. <laughs> so again, uh, treated them with alcohol. And do you see all the all the curled edges and burned, like what looks like burns? That's not, that's turned the sap sucking insects. They are killing, that's necrosis, they're killing the plant material. So you can see how that can destroy a plant. Also, uh, give you a good shot of it. All those little spot, like little spots, light colors, that's where they have sucked sap from the plant. So. Um, it loses vigor, it loses its ability to photosynthesize, so it's just all bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, treated all the leaves, all the stems down into the, you know, where I could to the soil with alcohol, sprayed it with soapy water, let it sit for a few minutes, then washed that off. And um, now, and I also went around the rims of the pots. Tomorrow, when I have more time, I'm going to transplant these completely out of these pots and give them some new soil to cover up where those things are probably laying eggs. So that's pretty much it. I hope that you don't get mealybugs, but if you do, now you know how to take care of it. You just have to be diligent. You have to keep coming back time and time again. You have to make sure you clean everything. Just treat it like it's a bad case of the stomach flu and you wanna be super cautious <laughs> about spreading it around and you'll be good. Just keep on disinfecting, keep on cleaning, keep those plants healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.